Hey guys, Agame here, and welcome back to TV in the Sky. Today we're going to introduce a brand new segment called 101. And what that is is that we're going to try to compile a character and his backstory, just in case anyone wants to jump into a new game in the series, they don't quite know the character, they don't know what's going on. So we're going to give you an inside look on the character and their backstory, just so you'll understand what's coming up in the game. Uh, the first game we're going to start off with is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. And we're going to give you a little bit uh, of the backstory on the character and on the game itself. So, hope you enjoy. Now for those of you who don't know Raiden, this is not his first time on the field. He's actually been the star of Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, where a terrorist group known as Dead Cell has captured a facility known as the Big Shell also capturing the president and several other hostages inside. Raiden is sent in to retrieve the president, save the hostages, and protect Big Shell. Raiden is also a Foxhound agent with extensive VR training and known to idolize another former Foxhound agent known as Solid Snake. After Raiden does some extensive searching and making some suspicious allies along the way, he finally uncovers the location of the president, the hostages, and a few of the Dead Cell members, taking a few of them out as he goes. With all this searching and investigating, he finally realizes the, ter the terrorist's true reasons for capturing the Big Shell, which is the metal gears that it's housing deep inside its underbelly. Raiden also uncovers the secrets of his past and Solidus Snake. Solidus Snake was the murderer of Raiden's parents and the commander of the child soldier unit that Raiden was thrown into. So you can bet Raiden was pretty pissed when he found out that Solidus was leading this new attack against the United States. After Raiden and Solidus heat his battle to the death, Raiden realizes that he no longer has to cling to the blood trail that he's lived all his life. He can choose to fight for whatever he wants, as long as he believes in it. After Raiden's long and tiring mission, Solid Snake informs Raiden that they still have to find Ocelot and save the life of the child that was being held captive by the Patriots. Snake explains that the Patriots kidnapped the child in order for Olga, the cybernetic ninja, would help Raiden complete his mission or else the child would face death. Snake promises to save the child and keep her from harm's way so Raiden can live a happy, normal life of his own. Raiden's next appearance in Metal Gear Solid 4 baffled quite a few fans. As we watched his newly transformed cybernetic body, we wonder why exactly he's back on the field of battle. And what exactly happened to him? In fact, we actually wondered why he was facing several of these geckos alone, when we found it pretty hard ourselves to take these things out. So when we saw Raiden run against these geckos with nothing but a sword and fighting them with his bare feet. Yes, his bare feet and a sword. Is any it's all it took to take these geckos out for Raiden. So the question was asked, will we see a game with this character? Almost immediately after seeing just these cutscenes. We wanted to find out more about Raiden's new found ability and his new look. We wanted to see the story about his transformation, about how he became this character. And that's exactly what the, the initial story for Metal Gear Solid Rising was. Was that we were going to see Raiden transform into the cybernetic ninja we saw in Metal Gear Solid 4. But Due to some technical difficulties with the initial design, the story drastically changed from between 2 and 4, where we would see Raiden's character change and the rescue of the girl Sunny, who was held captive by the Patriots, to where we see Raiden, years after Metal Gear Solid 4, already transformed into the cybernetic soldier we know from Metal Gear Solid 4. This drastic change in the storyline actually has a big part of the Metal Gear community pretty torn about having the original version where we get to see Raiden transform into the character he is today 
to be already being him and flipping a couple of geckos around anyway. I myself would like to have seen the transformation, but it's still pretty cool. Anyway. And if we look on the bright side, there could still possibly be a prequel where we see the transformation and Sunny's rescue. And this guy right here is called Vamp. He's Raiden's unofficial rival in Metal Gear Solid 4. This heated battle between Vamp, the immortal, and Raiden, the cybernetic ninja, added more fuel to the fire of what we might be able to see if Raiden got in an upcoming game. One of the big questions was probably, will we be able to see Raiden control lightning at will and decimate entire enemies as shown in this cutscene? Although we haven't seen any signs of lightning being controlled by Raiden, we have seen many of the moves from Metal Gear Solid 4 being implemented into this game. And I'm pretty sure that even though we might not be able to control lightning, we'll still have tons of fun slicing and dicing all enemies that get in our way. Alright guys, we're just about out of time. Uh, thanks for watching. If there's anything you didn't understand or wanted me to explain a little bit more on, you can go ahead and comment us, uh, message us, and we'll go ahead and answer all your questions. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you. Hey guys, I hope you listened to our stories and definitely got your pre-order on, because if you did for this game, you got the Grey Fox DLC skin. Not to mention, I hope you're rocking the Metal Gear Solid 4 skin. And I'm pretty sure if you pre-ordered, you definitely got the white, red, and green DLC skins. So, we hope you're gaming with style. And don't forget, have fun. And if you want to check out our demo before you start buying the game, click the link here, and you'll see our demo gameplay will also be coming out with some storyline gameplay. And we hope you enjoy this game, because we really do. And if you don't enjoy this game, well, that's cool. Everyone's got their own style. But enjoy your game.